Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I have my Thursday must-haves for you. This is where I show you some products that I've been really, really loving these past few weeks. I am still a little congested, if you can hear in my voice. I got sick like a week ago, and it just is not going away. I'm just still like flushing everything out. So, um, what else do I have to say before I start? Oh, everything's all makeup this week. Usually I have things that range from food and body care and hair care and all that stuff, but today it is all makeup. So I hope you guys all enjoy today's video and let's get started. First up, I have a brow product by NYX. It's their Tame and Frame. It is a tinted brow pomade and I'm pretty sure this is a lot like the Anastasia, Anastasia one, uh, but I've never tried that one before. This works really, really well though. So mine is in the shade Chocolate. This was in that big old bag of NYX products that I got. They didn't have every shade, so this was the closest shade to me, but it's pretty close. I don't know why I'm looking at my eyebrows right now because I don't have it on, of course, today. But the chocolate is a little bit red-toned, and I have a lot of auburn in my hair. The other one uh, is, I think there's espresso and brunette. Those are more brown, but the chocolate has a little bit of a red undertone, which makes it really perfect for me. I like my brows a little bit darker, so this really works. They do have an auburn shade, which is a little too red for me, so the chocolate just happens to work. So I apply this with this um, brow brush by Senna Cosmetics. It's their Brow Pro 40, and it works just perfectly. It's really tiny, and you need the tiniest amount, and it really does a good job at like creating the perfect brow but it's not you can make it really really defined and you know super drawn out but you can use this just to give your eyebrows some nice definition I was really impressed when I first used this I was really skeptical to use this I don't know why it took me a long time to actually use it but once I did I was like wow this is awesome so I really like it if you just put it right in the arch of your brows I've also used it by itself and it works great but it just takes a little bit of time because you are, you know, using just a tiny brush to apply it. And it takes a little bit more time. I think it looks awesome once you're done. But if you're in a rush, this probably isn't the best thing. But if you're really into your brows and you like them to just stay all day and be just there and perfect, I highly would recommend you guys try this. Next up, I have some face products. So I want to give you a little background. So I just recently stopped taking birth control. Andrew and I aren't trying to get pregnant, but um, it was for mainly health reasons that I wanted to get off of it. And my ever since I stopped taking it, my skin has gone absolutely crazy. Like, I know you're not going to be able to tell because I have lights and it really makes my skin look better than it is. But I have... Today is actually the best day it's been. But for the last month, like all right here, I've been break, broken out. Um, my chin, I had this massive zit right here that like would not go away, it finally went away. My skin has been just insane and it was like making me so sad. I've never washed my face and had my face feel so bumpy. It was just, it's not been a pleasant experience. So because of that, I've been having to use some new makeup items to really help cover up cover everything up. I also just ordered some products from Vitacost that are geared towards acne and I'm going to hope that those work so I'll keep you updated but I mean when I don't have any makeup on it is just like pizza face. It is not a good thing. So um, here are some products I've been using that have been really helping. So this is the Cover Effects BB Gel. It is their mattifying anti-blemish treatment and why I like this is because it has salicylic acid in the product. So it's not like you're just covering up your face and your makeup is making your skin worse. This is actually going to help treat your skin at the same time, which is just great. Uh, the consistency of this is really lightweight. You have to shake it up and then I pour some on the back of my hand and apply it with a foundation brush. And it does a great job at covering. It's not full coverage, but it's probably medium coverage. But it, it's, it's fine. Like I don't... Whenever I have a lot of breakouts, I think most people's tendency is to pack on the makeup, but sometimes that can make your pimples look worse when they're heavily caked. So I like this because it feels really lightweight on my skin, um, but it it gives me enough coverage that I need, and it feels just really 
nice throughout the day. For my concealer, what I've been using is the Cover FX Blemish Treatment Concealer. So again, this has treatment in the concealer, which is going to help, you know, get rid of your pimples as you're wearing the product. So I'm a little bit in between shades. I have medium and light because I'm not really one or the other. So what I've been doing is taking both concealers, just holding them like this, and this is my Morphe brush. This is the G9 brush, their chrome brush. And I just go like this between both of the colors and apply it right on any areas of redness, all of my blemishes. I just kind of pat it into my skin and then just blend it out. And this does a good job because it blends both the colors together and it makes it the perfect shade for my skin tone. And again, with this concealer, it covers everything up so well. Uh, but I feel better about having makeup on my skin. You know, a lot of the time when you're breaking out, you just want to take all of your makeup off and let your skin breathe. But sometimes you got to go places and you don't want to look like that. So this is just a really good thing for problematic skin, which is what I have right now. And it's so sad. Um, but I've been loving that every day. I've been using that for the past week. I, I forgot I had it so because I've been using other concealers. And I was like, oh, duh, why am I not using that? And ever since I started using that, it's just helped my skin look a lot better. Next up, I have a few products by a new company. It's called Antonym. And I have been trying out a few products from their line. These are two of my favorites. I have the Baked Blush in Copper and the Baked Foundation in Medium Beige. And first off, the packaging of these is so beautiful. I love these wooden compacts. It's a magnetic closure and I just think that it's so pretty. I brought up their website so I can tell you guys a little bit about them. So their kind of mission statement is that they create products that perform exceptionally well yet are gentle on the skin, the environment, and are cruelty free. Their products are all made with sustainable materials. This is made with bamboo which is just awesome. Um, they're also made without any chemicals and no animal testing. So here's the baked foundation. I think this is just so beautiful. I love the marbling. And the nice thing about products that are, have different colors in here is it really creates a really beautiful shade on your skin and it just matches really well. It gives a natural satin finish. It's definitely not matte, but it's not dewy. Kind of like the middle of the road. So I've been using this to set my BB gel in place. And it's really a soft powder, so it feels really nice on the skin. Um, but when you're swirling a product around, it doesn't kick up too much product, so you know you're not wasting any. It looks really nice and natural on your skin. It gives me a little more coverage too, which is great. So I would highly recommend you guys try that powder out. And then here's a blush, which is so pretty. I love the gold veining throughout it. When you're just looking at it, it looks kind of like a mauve color. But when you swirl the mauve together with the gold, it gives you this beautiful copper shade. And I have this on today, and I like it because... It's a neutral, like it's a neutral blush, but it has a little bit of color too. Like it's not your, just your typical pink and peach blush that I wear like every single day. It's a little bit different. It gives you just that sun-kissed glow, which I mean is perfect for the spring and summer. And it gives a little bit of sheen to the to the cheeks, and I've, I've been just so in love with it. It's just the most pigmented blush. You don't need that much of it. It blends out beautifully. I want to try more of their, their colors because I'm just so impressed with it. So those are all the products I wanted to share with you guys today. I also wanted to let you guys know I'm having a meetup on April 25th in San Diego at the Fashion Valley Mall at Sephora from 1 o'clock to 3. So mark your calendars. If you guys live near San Diego, I would love to meet you guys. Cover Effects is hosting this little meet up for me so I can meet you guys and we can shop together and pick out products and just talk. So please let me know if you can come. Let me know anywhere. Here, um, Twitter, Facebook. Definitely follow me on Facebook. My face Facebook page is just Vlog with Kendra and I will have updates and just more details with that. So I hope I can meet all of you guys there. If you're new to my channel, you can subscribe. Just click this box and you can see all of my new uploads and it is totally free. I also have some new videos if you guys missed them. I did a buy to cost haul. I talk about some things that I buy all the time from them that are super cheap and awesome for you like gluten-free pasta, uh, protein powder, just a bunch of different things I always order from them. And I have a springtime skincare essentials video. I talk about products that are great to protect your skin from sun damage and then also what products to use to treat your skin after you've been in the sun a long time. So. I will see you guys all in my next video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye!